So we're going to be using a little trick here to tune the uh, Grid EMU with Windows 10, which is kind of a misnomer because what we have to do is run our virtual machine to do that. So we're going to download VirtualBox made by Oracle. We're going to do the Windows host download. And then um, also we're going to download CD Burner XP as a way of getting data into this virtual machine later in the tutorial. So we have VirtualBox downloaded. We're going to install it. Um, we're going to leave all the defaults. So all the options that pop up, we're just going to click next, next, and okay um, for, for all these things. And then um, just let it crank away on the installation. And basically what this is, it's a type two hypervisor. So we can virtualize Windows XP inside of this Windows 10 tuning laptop. And um, big reason for doing this is uh, Ready just hasn't maintained their uh, driver package and it just doesn't play nice with uh, Windows 10 or x64 in general so uh, we're gonna create a new virtual machine so click new I went with just uh, Windows XP underscore ready for machine name you can use whatever you want make sure that's Windows XP 32 bit on version at the bottom and I went um, pretty generous, pretty generous with RAM here. And I went with a gig, so 1,024 megabytes. And it's uh, when you select Windows XP, it's going to automatically say 10 gigs. I left it there. Again, that's really generous. But um, this is dynamically allocated, so it's not actually going to take 10 gigabytes of your disk space. And I also went with not attached nor enabled on the network. Um, I just don't want this uh, whatever ISO I got from Google from the internet to be talking to the internet. Um, even a, a nice clean Windows XP, there's just no reason to have that being able to talk to the internet. So we're gonna go to settings storage, go over to the optical drive, and we're gonna link it to that Windows XP ISO that I went and found on the Googles. And that's gonna act like having an installation disk inside of a old school laptop to uh, install Windows XP. So. Now we uh, booted it up and I fast forward to uh, run through this installation process a bit faster, but basically it's uh, creating Windows XP. And um, as this virtual machine builds, I just got a little paranoid, made sure that the uh, networking is for sure turned off. Um, type in whatever you want there for the name and user. Typed in local for uh, that part of the installation process as well for it to uh, move forward. And um, it's just wrapping up the rest of these um, components and settings. And then we're going to have to make sure that somewhere in this process, you, uh, you unlink, you pull out that live media. Otherwise, it's just going to boot into installing all over again. So here I, I exited out and kind of aborted out. And I'm going to go to settings and ensure that the live uh, disk is unselected and um, then let this machine reboot again and that'll complete the Windows XP installation process. So uh, there we go. For some people, they've never seen the screen before and for others, it's gonna bring back some, some memories. And um, it's gonna take a little while here, um, that's fine. It's gonna automatically try to choose a better screen resolution for you. And later in the tutorial, we're gonna go even further and make it a little bit better once it's running in your uh, in your laptop inside this Oracle GUI. I just chose not right now to get through the screen. Um, it's gonna try to connect, good luck. And no, not at this time. Um, put in whatever name again that you want and um, keep moving forward here. And now really wait for it. Ah, it brings back memories for some. Yes, I'm old. I'm really old. Go ahead and put in the comments. Okay, Boomer. And uh, now we're inside Windows XP. And now we're going to mess around with some of the processes of getting data into this XP because we're not connected to the internet. We don't want to use Internet Explorer and a lot of sites aren't even going to work with it now. So we're going to do two methods here. And again, making sure that that's not a, not set up. 
But we're gonna do two methods here. I'm gonna show you how to make a share drive between the host operating system and this virtual machine. And also how to use CD Burner XP to take some downloaded material on the host machine, convert it or save it as a .iso so we can import it to this virtual machine as well. So here we're going to settings, share folders, and I'm just gonna select a path on my host machine where I wanna put documents into that I want to be sent to this virtual machine and vice versa. So that when you make uh, tunes and you save the tunes, you can get those tunes out of the virtual machine and uh, on your host system. So here's the URL for Greddy's software. I'm gonna go to that URL and scroll down a bit. And it's not the only place to get it, but um, this is one way of getting it. You're gonna go down the page a little bit and click on that download icon to download this uh, Greddy Ultimate 2.3.3 um, software. And uh, again, we're gonna set up this uh, share drive and also a way of saving it as a .iso to get into this virtual machine. So after that download's complete, uh, again, refresher, here's CD Burner XP. Uh, we're gonna do these two different methods here. So as you see, we downloaded that file I just get rid of the exe kind of bugs me so I'll just change the name on it um, we're going to go to cd burner xp open it up go open data disk press ok um, we're going to move that file that we had downloaded we're going to drag it down into that add box down there and we're simply going to go to file and then save as iso file and we're going to put that in a folder uh, i'm just going to put it in a folder on my desktop that uh, I want to use also as the share folder, because uh, why not? So actually right now it's still in the downloads path, but we'll, we'll end up moving it pretty soon here. Um, I'm going to end up putting it in the share folder, which is kind of a moot thing to do, because as you'll see, we'll delete it later. Um, but uh, moving on smartly, we're then going to uh, boot this machine back up. And we need to install some more things on this virtual machine to make the share drive work. So we're going to go over into uh, devices and uh, or rather we're going to go into settings. And we're going to choose that Greddy EMU ISO that we had just made. So going back to uh, down, uh, no, not downloads, but again, uh, we moved it to the share folder and there you go. Open it. Now Windows XP is going to see it automatically open up the window. There you go. So there's how you can get that, that installation software into the virtual machine without having a, a internet connection. We're also going to go to devices, install guest additions. And this is an additional tool set to install in um, this Oracle instance, in this virtual machine instance, to uh, make the share folder work between the host operating system and this virtual operating system. So now that we've done that, we're going to let it reboot and we're going to go into uh, the share drive settings. So now we're going to set up the share drive. Um, I just create a folder on the desktop here. I'm just going to say, uh, shared files and we're going to have to go into the Oracle GUI to then set up shared folders, shared folder settings. Um, I already started working around. You're going to click uh, add um, because I already had this existing, but you'll just go to the top right with that green plus button and add. And that bottom portion wasn't necessary, but you're going to get this network attached storage now. And um, there you can see the ISO that we had just made and imported by making it look like a CD to this uh, virtual machine. So now I just deleted it. And you're gonna see on the host operating system that it's no longer in that folder that it used to be in. So you'll see that, uh, well, first off, we're gonna copy this good zip file of the installation software. But now we're in that share folder, you're gonna see that ISO was gone. Now we're gonna paste this uh, zipped folder in there and we're going to go back in the virtual machine 
and go to that uh, refresh that network attached storage and there it is so that's another way of getting the software into your virtual machine without having a network connection and another reason to make the share folder is so that when you actually create tunes on your software you can put the saved tune in that share folder and get it over your windows 10 host so you can put it on like an external hard drive or nas that you run or uh, you know email it out if you need to and um, so here we're actually installing the Gretty software after unzipping it. And now we're gonna actually open it up. And you can install it on Windows 10 and it'll it'll run. The GUI will open up on um on with the Gretty software, but the driver simply won't work. And so right now, um optimizing this display inside the Windows host, so now it's just easier to use. And again, I'm going to go back into the software and then um, go into the car and actually turn um, ACC on and uh, connect the EMU. So now I'm connecting the EMU. You hear the USB tone from the host operating system. And now it's important in this virtual machine inside the Oracle GUI to go to USB and make that eManage USB device pass through into the virtual machine. So now it's passing through that USB and now the virtual machine is seeing it as a USB plugged in and Windows doesn't know what driver to use. We're not connected to the internet. So we're going to select uh, no, not at this time. We're going to install the driver from the actual driver folder that's found inside the Gretty installation. So don't do what I'm about to do right here and put don't search and next and it gives us this list. I'm going to back out of that. And we're going to go back to uh, this first option, but then in the location, and we're going to browse to the uh, local disk and then to uh, program files. And then inside program files, we're going to go to the trust folder. And then inside of the trust folder, we're going to go to Grady Image Ultimate and then driver and then select uh, that folder. And it's going to find the driver. And now the driver is installed. And amazing. Now we're communicating with the Image Ultimate, even though we're on a Windows 10 box. And now we're going to import the data from the machine. And here's a little base tune from the, or the tune found on the Image Ultimate that I had plugged in. And another little aspect of uh, tuning the Gretty EMU is um, when you make changes, it doesn't feed those changes to the unit automatically with every change. You're basically making these changes on your computer. And when you're done making the changes, export what you're seeing right here, export it to the main unit to take all the tune changes. And here we're going to save the tune. And this is going to be a good example of what I was saying as far as um, saving the tune uh, in a path where we can also get to that tune from the host operating system if we want to. So here I actually saved it uh, locally on this computer, but then I'm also going to copy it. And then I'm going to go to that network storage that Oracle's providing and um, get it over to the uh, host operating system, uh, Windows 10. So we're going to paste it here. And then you'll see that when we go to Windows 10 and we go to that share folder I made on the desktop, there's the tune that we just saved. So that wraps it up. You should be able to tune your Gretty EMU now from be it Windows 10, or if you use VMware Fusion on a MacBook, you can even use Apple. Uh, actually, I've also tested this on Ubuntu um, Linux. So basically anything that can run a type two hypervisor, and then you can run uh, Windows XP inside of that and pass through the USB into that XP machine. Um, please give a like and subscribe for this fledgling channel as Yes, I'm old as we went over that before. And I want to release more and more stuff of these little tips and tricks I've learned over the years at making things like this work. So uh, thanks again for the view. Bye.